We got our heads back from the machine shop. They, uh, the machine shop we use is the best. They always, uh, they always really do us right. Uh, these heads, these are, uh, I believe, 823 casting heads. They're what came off of the uh, L9H motor. They have machined 30 thousandths of material off of the deck, off the surface of the head. And uh, this should raise our compression on the uh, L9H motor from 10.5 to 1 up to 10.8 to 1. This should give us good power everywhere. Uh, but before these heads can go on, we need to change the valve springs. Because this is gonna go in a Z06 Corvette, we've got uh, a set of good springs that'll help get us up to a high RPM. These are uh, Texas Speed dual valve springs. And uh, they come with titanium retainers. And they come with a new set of valve stem seals that are, uh, are meant to clear the, the double springs. For the valve stem seals to go on, we have a set of sleeves that are protectors. After we take up the old valve stem uh, seal, we'll put these seals, that are this sleeve down over the valve stem, and then we'll push the new valve seal over this sleeve, and it'll protect it. For this to happen, as always, I like to take a rag and put it underneath the uh, cylinder I'm working with. just to make sure the valve doesn't fall down a little bit while I'm trying to compress the spring. We want the valve to stay up as high as we can so we only have to compress the spring a little bit, not all the way. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get these, uh, these valve springs on and off by myself or if I'm gonna have to have a uh, assistant help hold uh, the head down going back together. Let's, uh, let's see how far we can get with this. One. You know, it's a shame because these are brand new valve stem seals. <laughs> Let me get this up and I'll show you guys the difference. The difference between these valve stem seals, this is the one that came off and this is the one that's going on. The beehive has a pretty big base to it, so it can have this little step on the end where it gets wider for, uh, I guess, for stability or something, or to help center the spring. But because the new ones are double springs, it needs to be the same shank all the way down to the base, and that's what these new ones are. We do not ever just put this on all by itself. We will uh, cut the seal going over the lip of the valve stem. So we put the sleeve on first, and then the valve seal goes over the sleeve. and then we pull the sleeve up. And now we have the double spring. It can go on. Uh, the retainers are different. Again, for the exact same reason. This is the Beehive retainer. Just one little seat. And this is the titanium retainers. They got two seats for the inner spring and for the outer spring. There's one. And we were able to get it all by ourselves without locking the head down. And then move on to cylinder two, or the intake valve on this will be. Ooh, these heads can be ambidextrous. The block is, the plug is in this one. So this is cylinder number two, exhaust valve, this will be intake. I know these are the 6.2 heads. I gotta angle this a little bit to get it to go in. <laughs> it won't go straight. Straight puts it off. So on these, you have to leave the 
the tool up a little bit so it can even articulate that direction. You know, on the 6.2s, we have uh, one straight rocker and one offset rocker. So for the offset, to use this tool, it's gotta be at an angle. So you can't have it seated in the, uh, in the bridge. They, uh, they cleaned these springs up when they went through the heads at the cylinder head exchange, but these are the exact same valve springs that were on the, the motor the way we got it from the boneyard. And uh, I wouldn't trust those valve springs for anything. I, I would not reuse those no matter what. Okay, so this goes over. And this goes on. This comes up. Spring goes on. Titanium retainer goes on. And then this goes back. Almost forgot. The rag needs to go under the uh, cylinder that we're doing because we don't want the valve to drop down. That little extra bit that the valve drops down means you gotta really work hard to overextend the, the spring to get the keepers to release and then get them back in. Having that rag under there is a big part of how this all happens so easy and nice. You know, I forgot, I think in my last video I was saying that I got this, uh, this tool from Amazon or somewhere, but really I got it from Lingenfelter. I've had it for a while. I've had it since my awesome job at the Corvette shop. These are all uh, Texas speed parts we're using. We expect nothing but good times. And uh, we won't be saving these old beehive springs for anything. Take the sleeve off. Put our spring on. Titanium retainer. There we go. And that completes the first head, which is actually bank two. Now, for bank one, we're only going to do the first set of three, and then we're going to leave these. Uh, we're going to leave these alone for now. We have a set of checker springs that we're going to use uh, to verify our piston to valve clearance, along with uh, an extra head gasket that we bought just to throw away. Uh, we need to be very careful about checking our piston to valve clearance when we shave so much material off the cylinder heads and just make sure that uh, that the pistons and the valves aren't going to want to do the touchy-touchy thing. The checker springs are a very soft spring and they will let the uh, they'll let the lifter stay fully extended instead of putting preload on it. So if you have clearance with the checker springs, then you should be safe even if the lifter wants to uh, pump up or whatever. While at the machine shop, they changed all of these uh, exhaust valve guides. They said they were all wiped out. It added a little bit to the job, but uh, it feels good uh, going back together knowing that we got fresh valve guides. So all of our valve springs are in except for two, uh, which would be cylinder number one. And we really want to uh, check our piston valve clearance because we've milled these heads uh, to the tune of 30 thousandths and we got a, uh, uh, a little bit of a hot cam going in. It's only 600 lift, but we want to check. So we're going to use these special springs. These are uh, Iskandarian or Iski made springs. These are specific checker springs. They're uh, a very thin, lightweight spring. This way the springs will not overwhelm or create uh, lifter preload. So we'll understand exactly what the uh, what our amount of clearance is even after the lifters pump up. This build is using LS7 lifters which have a slow bleed down. So it's very possible to think that they will uh, that the lifters will pump up and energize from oil pressure and that that uh, distance will be added to the uh, total amount of valve lift. These checker springs do not seat properly on the uh, on the stock uh, valve seat. So 
we're going to go ahead and install our special valve seals that we got for double springs because they don't have that lip and the ISKI spring will seat totally on them. As always, we put the sleeve on first, then this, the seal goes on. I'm not actually uh, installing the spring back on it. I'm just gonna use that to help force the seal or seat. Springs are so light, we don't even need the tool to put them back in. There's one. And there's two. And there we go. And now we can put these heads on the motor. Uh, first, we got to put some clay on the piston, and then we can bolt these heads down, bolt the rockers down on this cylinder. And I'll bolt the rockers down on, on a cylinder next to it too, or maybe I'll do uh, the two uh, ends. And then we'll, uh, we'll measure our piston to valve clearance here. We'll also measure on one of these other springs, but uh, this will give us a, a really true reading of the max amount of lift that we'll get, even when the, when the lifters are fully charged up. Uh, these springs will keep a preload on the lifters and we can't simulate the oil pressure that's gonna fill the lifters. And uh, so, it's really important when you're checking piston valve clearance that you have a light set of uh, checker springs installed. 